they get close. We a little wild war, covered in tattoos. Run it up, taking all the views. Stepping on place, feeling the fear. I know you're feeling it in the air. Whole squad wearing all black. Motivation's looking real bad. Huh? We back to the bone, raising a fire alone. We ain't never needed nobody. Give me six feet, this is my party. Ain't got no feelings, we heartless. Take a peek inside of darkness. Blow up the spot, then we run it. Ready or not, here we coming. Hey guys, this is Eddie here from the future and um I want to just first preface this video by letting you, letting you know that everything that could have gone wrong with today's filming absolutely did go wrong. Um, testing out this GH5 for the first time, I set my uh, aspect ratios incorrectly to 4x3 when I selected 4K. So I had to stretch it and, and crop in in post. And then with the Insta360 Go, I added the lens cover, the protectors, those little plastic protection that goes over your lens so that you don't scratch it and then permanently damage your 360 camera well that absolutely destroyed all the footage today and you're going to see a lot of um defects um a lot of you know banding in the footage all from the sun uh crazy amount of, of sun lens flare and not in a good way but i just want to let you know tomorrow's a different day we're going to go out there and shoot again still uploading this video because i want you guys to see uh, my errors so it's not always perfect so i hope you enjoy the footage what's going on guys welcome back to yet another one of my videos today this is a vlog it's a vlog day but it's a good vlog and not that my other vlogs are bad what i mean is this is a tech vlog that's going to transition into three different um review videos today i got my hands on three gadgets number one is the panasonic lumix gh5 mark ii the second thing that I have my hands on is the Insta360 X2 and finally the one wheel, the one wheel G2 or the one wheel GT, the one wheel GT. What am I saying here? One wheel GT. So we are going to be testing all three of these things and look forward to a full review coming onto my channel um, in the future. The, the number one thing I'm focusing on right now is just testing out this camera that I'm vlogging in right now. This camera is the Panasonic Lumix GH5 Mark II. Um, I was always curious with this camera, you know, what it can do. I know that it has the specs and I'll, I won't bore you today with the specs, but the specs on this thing is beefy. Um, I mean, the stabilization is insane. I think it could do 6K. It can, it can record in ProRes if you attach a Ninja Atomos, um, a Ninja 5 screen, uh, not screen recorder recorder onto this thing so this this camera can do a lot and best of all it has a little flippy screen so i can see myself right now uh which none of my cameras whether a thousand dollars all the way up to six grand has a flippy screen so thanks to james earl from the flight fanatics for allowing me to to test this camera out he 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 uh, sent it over to me so i can go ahead and, and give it a try so look forward to a full review there and then let me walk over to my car um I'm walking over to my car here the next thing that we're going to be testing out and what you'll see a lot from this vlog is this um, insta360 um, x2 here which is right now the insta360 one x2 and um, i'm gonna go ahead and ride the one wheel today and see how it performs so um this is the first time that i ever use a 360 uh, camera so i'll be quite interested and quite curious as to how to process the footage through my computer and onto this video. But anyway, enough of me blabbing. Let's, um, let's just go ride.
All right, guys, so that's going to be it. It's quite windy. I'm at the beach, obviously, so I hope that the audio is pretty good. I have the mic facing against the wind, the Rode Video Mic um, Wireless Go, the Rode Wireless Go, and I'm hoping that that DJI mic comes out soon. But anyway, let's get back to the in initial purpose of this video. So I just have to say right now I'm walking. I'm walking. Look, I'm walking. I don't know if probably not exposed right but right now i am walking and the stabilization on this camera is just absolutely mind-blowing um i mean they they always talked about the gh5 having great stabilization but not so good autofocus and i'll tell you one thing right now is that i have look i'm gonna take a picture with my phone so i can attach it to this video because this is incredible right now i not only have the best stabilization oh you probably can't see can you see yeah let me see right now i have not only the best stabilization happening right now on the camera as i'm walking i'm walking but i also have a box around my face and this camera is doing a heck of a job tracking my face I mean, an absolutely heck of a job tracking my face as I'm walking. And the stabilization is just unbelievable. I know Ken Original Dobo swears by the GH5. And I always downplayed it because I have full frame cameras and I have a lot of full frame lenses and I'm a bit of a gear snob and a gearhead. So the GH5, I was like, huh, you know, what's so good about the Panasonics and the Fujis? Why would I want this when I have, you know, a Sony A1, a Sony A7R4, a Canon 1DX Mark III, um, a Canon 1DX Mark II, a Canon 5D Mark IV, a Sony A6400 and a Sony A6500. Crap, I have too much stuff. But why would I want, why would I want a Panasonic Lumix GH5? But this today just opened up my mind. And not to backtrack a little, not trying to be a camera snob, right it's not really it's not all about the gear that you have it's how you leverage it and um, what you create with it um so i mean simplicity sometimes is the easiest thing to get you out there create to create when you have complex stuff like the 1dx is heavy right i love that camera but it's heavy so sometimes i don't want to bring it with me just because of the weight but this thing is so lightweight that i am truly truly in love I think I might have to get me one. So thanks, James. Thank you, you sold me on another camera. <laughs> so in regards to the Insta360, I'm gonna, that's something that I really can't talk about much right now in this video because, you know, I just, it was just my experiencing using it for the first time. But now the real test is gonna be when I get back to the computer and install their app on my computer, import that stuff into Adobe Premiere Pro and really using it in my workflow and exporting my video, which you've gotten to see here. So stay tuned for another in-depth video talking about in, you know, in greater details, my experience with the Insta360 um, One X2. Uh, so far, fabulous camera. The app was a little buggy in terms of it was lagging a lot, especially when I wanted to replay my footage. Um, I shot in 5K, I think I put in there a 32 gig memory card. So shooting in 5K, I think I, I, I blew through that right away. I didn't have enough to record all of my adventures while riding the one wheel. So definitely have to up that card a lot more than 32 gigs, right? Um, probably 128 gigs or 256 gigs, but it's gonna be interesting um, to, to put that in the computer and upload it and process it and i'm sure that i'll enjoy it as well as you um, and finally the one wheel that's going to be a video in itself um, you know i have a lot of electric vehicles in my house i have the original booster boards that came out i have the booster board stealth and the uh what was the other booster board the original one with the orange wheels not the first version but the second version i have that one and um i have a super 73 um s1 i believe or s2 and then the rx which was their latest bike so on, on this channel you know stay tuned to you know a lot of different videos about a lot of the things that are trending right now 
This is a, a world all about techs and gadgets, electric vehicles, not only from an actual vehicle that you're driving, but a you know more portable video, uh, a more portable vehicle such as a bike or a one wheel or a skateboard. But I'm glad beyond way too long. This is just a, a little vlog. More to come on all this technology. Uh, thank you for watching. Leave your comments below if you have anything specific that you want to see on those three things, whether it's the one wheel, the Insta360, or the Panasonic camera, the GH5. Let me know in the comments below now so I can make sure that I cover those in the video. Until next time, guys, peace.